Righto, we're back in the Ram again. So we just picked it up from Mitz the other day. It's bloody high tide. Pilliga National Park. That damn booty needs to be. So the Ram's coming together, picked it up from Mitz the other day, still waiting on a couple of things um, that is just uh, out, of, out of stock at the moment, they're still waiting on supply, so we're waiting on a solar panel to show up from Red Arc, and we're also waiting for a new water tank design, um, so I'll show you under here, due to the, the tower, the, um, the spring tower, how high it sits up in, in these Rams and the coil sprung 2500s, um, Mitz are waiting on a new water tank design. So the current water tank that goes under there has kind of got a bit of a, a trough in the belly of it. So they're waiting on their new their new design to uh, show up, which should only be like a week or two away. Um, so the boys are going to throw that under there once once they show up. So I told them I wanted to pick up the truck and, and get some other stuff done to it. So solar panel water tank we're still waiting on. Um, we do have the headboard water tank already fitted. So it's a 30 litre headboard water tank in there. Um, so I wanted to get two water tanks under this thing. Again, remote trips, tow tourer build. So this vehicle will be used for towing plus um, doing the the, uh, the Simpson Desert and stuff like that where they can drop the van and do some of those remote, remote trips, have enough water, have two spares. So we're running two spares on the rear. Also running a ladder. Um, we're gonna go for a rooftop tent, decided not to. So we've just gone with Mitz is um, roof rack system. So we've gone with that and we're gonna, uh, we'll have the solar panel up there and then we'll have the max tracks up there I'd say and also swags and stuff like that when they do go on those trips. So they'll be just running stretches, swags. Bush Company awning has got to go on yet. So um, we've got to get the awning brackets. They were coming through production the other day when I wanted to pick up the truck. So waiting on them. Um, so yeah, solar panel, water tank, and the uh, mitts awning brackets is the only things we're still waiting on. But I'm um, gonna go through over all the specs of the truck or the tray and the canopy. So uh, go through the tray first. So the tray is 2000 millimeters wide by 2050 long. So it's a 6.4 foot tray. Um, it's 900 high. It's got the uh, the 30 litre headboard water tank. I'll take you around the front and I'll show you that. So we've got the water tank just there on a tap. Um, and that's just gravity fed. And then we'll obviously we'll have the other water tank um, in there. Um, we've got the, the flared mud guards, front and rear. Um, under tray toolboxes front and rear, we've uh, got our relocation for our DEF and our diesel fillers just there as well. Um, we went with a 1500 millimeter trundle uh, just because we are going to run that, obviously that other um, water tank in the front once that shows up. So got a nice little prep, prep bench there. So great for making sandwiches and stuff. I actually really love the height of this truck and how it's um, turned out. Again, we do have a lot of gear to still go in the canopy yet. So I'm assuming it's gonna come down probably close to another another inch in height in the rear once we fully load it up.
but the proportions from the front to the back, the truck is sitting absolutely perfect. I'm so happy with how the uh, suspension is sitting right now. We may be adding airbags later, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we go when we, when we put the van on. The van doesn't have a very heavy tow ball um, download, so but yeah, that's the trundle. Obviously, Evo 2, new design through the back here. Um, the Ignite tail lights and stuff. Um, got got our, our relocation for our, our hitch and stuff. Also got our relocation for the uh, reverse camera um, in the, the 3D printed uh, setup here. So all that's been all, all tidied back up. Um, obviously two spares, again, methods. Can't go past methods. They are uh, the best rim as far as I'm concerned. We're going with BF tires on this truck. The canopy, so we've got 2,000, obviously 2,000 wide, so matching the matching the tray. 2,000 wide on the canopy. It's uh, 1,700 long, so I did want that step here on the rear of the tray to have a step there, so that way uh, we could uh, actually have, get that center, center of gravity. If you can see here from the side, all our weight is dead over that rear axle, which is exactly where I wanted it. So good, good balance. Don't want a too big of a canopy. Didn't want to go full size. I just think that's too much hanging over the back of the axle. Plus they will be towing. So we'll have that down, that uh, load on the tow ball as well. Um, 900 high, the canopy is. So 2000 wide, 1700 long, 900 high. Um, Run right the roof rack, two spare tires. Um, the deep fold down ladder. Um, now we'll go through. We'll go through the internal setup and what I've chose for inside the canopy. Okay, so here on the driver's side, we have obviously the the whale tail locks and stuff. We have all essential locking up here. So this is Mitz's new um, internal case that protects the locks and everything from things moving around in the canopy, so that way nothing can get jammed. Obviously, do have our lights and stuff here on the door, full central locking um, as well. So, on this side, again, Mitz's new Evo 2, you don't have the step on the side of the, uh, the tray, uh, sorry, the canopy here. Um, so, we've got nice big wide drawer here. So, we'll be fitting all this out with uh, marine carpet and stuff um, today. So, nice big wide drawer there. Another smaller one just here. And then we've obviously got the shelves on top, but Mitz's new design with just, just one one-handed action. So much better, especially if you've got something in one hand, you can just bang, open, close. It's bloody awesome. So um, we do have a drop-down shelf here as well. We went for the full, full Red Arc suite. Um, in the power system, so that's the the ultimate package. So we've got a 2000 watt inverter We've got the full manager Manager and um, also the full fuse box the whole works all controlled um, Through your phone if you want to uh, so we've got 100 and 100 so 200 amps of uh, lithium up there mounting the headboard so nice and tidy nice and recessed in there um, we got. I wanted to have a little bit of space here at the back. Um, we were going to run another. Fr I wasn't going to put this in there, this drawer here, but this will allow them to have the option of removing this drawer, pulling this one out again. Remember, all the mitt stuff just bolts in and out, so really easy. So they can remove this drawer on a bigger trip and fit another fridge in this position here if they want to take an ARB elements or something like I have in my setup. So the possibility of, ca of capacity for a fridge is there. Um, but we also, I put this drawer in because we went with a 130 litre Bushman, um, which they can now fit inside these US truck canopies, which is really good, the way the new canopy is designed. So we'll take a look around on the other side in a second, but wanted to have this section here, four chairs, other items. Um, we are gonna be putting a companion shower and stuff in here. Same as my setup in my truck. So we'll be uh, fitting some of that stuff today. So that is the driver's side. 
we'll come around down to the passenger side. Again, great locks, gas struts, same on this side, got all your locks, everything. Um, this side we've got our Bushman 130 litre upright, which is just fits in there like butter with the clearances and everything. You can flip these doors if you want. I like the door to open this way. A lot of people like the door to open that way. Um, so you can move stuff straight from there. I'm not really too fussed on, on what way the door opens. So this way's, this way's fine for me. Um, there's our batteries uh, here in the headboard. So we do have the, uh, we are gonna run a power board and stuff from this. So I'll end up getting a plug for this. We'll run up and we'll be zip tying it through the roof, uh, probably across to the other side. So we have a, a full power power board and everything. Same, similar to set up to what I've done in my truck. Two USBs just there for charging your phone and stuff. And your normal SIG socket as well. Again, full red arc system here and um, it's all powder coated nice and black. So looks pretty pretty fancy. I'm not familiar on the Red Arc system. I've been running Enerdrive in my truck, so I'm still learning about this myself, um, the Red Vision, but been told hands down that it's a, it's a really good really good system. So I wanted to go with something different in this um, to change it up a bit. So the new Evo 2s do run on the, the Bush system that is in um, all the mounting positions, so it runs on like a little cone bush, um, stop vibrations and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, but we've got the travel buddy uh, shelf up here. We've got a travel buddy in the back seat, ready to get mounted today. So it's all uh, been wired up and everything, ready with the um, the Anderson there. So I'll just have to put a mere Anderson on the travel buddy, which I can do all that myself. Um, then we've got another big pantry drawer here. So absolutely massive. Nice and deep, nice and high, so you can fit bottles and stuff in there and uh, and whatnot. And again, keeping this keeping this section here empty. And then we do have a uh, prep table just here, so perfect size. Got your little cutouts just here for your your plastic bag and stuff to hang for your rubbish. But this is just so tidy, so clean. I'm so so happy now owning my train canopy for close to two years and and doing the trips that i've done already in it and figuring out what worked and what didn't and this is just i don't think you can you can set it up any better for this just to be able to go camping and stuff and and just be still have the possibilities of going remote having this vehicle set up for towing as well where your weights, you're not carrying way too much stuff. Again, the ram is coil in the rear. I just think this is just such a clean, tidy setup. You've got a massive fridge, plenty of storage, 130 liters in the Bushman, and then having the nice big pantry drawer here, you've got your food here. Travel buddy, you wanna cook something on the road, you can throw it in there. And then you have the possibilities of pulling that other drawer on the other side and setting up another fridge for a long distance trip like a Simpson or something like that where you want to carry extra stuff or if you're going to be doing the canning stock route anything wild like that you still can do those sorts of things you have plenty of storage on this truck for your recovery gear with the under tray toolboxes and stuff I don't think you're going to have an issue with running out of room in this truck so I'm really really liking this uh this setup I think it's friggin awesome so full quick uh, disconnect if you want to take the canopy off as well just with the Anderson here um, that's all mounted nice and tidy um, got your vents and stuff for your your water tank here with your little your little tap which is a uh, really nice so little toolboxes great for recovery gear and stuff like that I'll be lining them with rubber on the inside to just lose the um, Give it a bit of sound deadening. That's what we're going to be doing through the whole canopy today is, is getting some sound deadening going. Small little one at the back there. Perfect for snatch straps and stuff like that. Such a cool little box. It's actually good. You can, when you push these locks, you actually hear the air getting forced out of the, um, the box itself. So Again, all the sensors and stuff are 
put back in for a verse and that. They're all back in there. Same toolboxes on this side. But the, um, if we come back here, look at the front, the front flare, the rear flare. We've got the same clearance front and back. So it's sitting absolutely perfect right now. It's actually a little bit, little bit, little bit rear high, which is exactly where I wanted it. Uh, full extrusion through the canopy, like the rest of uh, what the guys at Mints do. So you have a full extrusion all the way through it so you can mount literally anything anywhere, um, which is really good, even if you want to customize it yourself. So we'll be putting fire extinguishers and stuff in the canopy as well, um, mounting other bits and pieces. So this is a nice little section here where I'll be mounting a power board and stuff like that because um, this customer does have uh, does take a lot of photos and stuff so it does a lot of photography so we'll be mounting a power board and stuff up here and then we'll be doing a full marine carpet up in this top tray today and setting up the camera um, that way they can use uh, velcro and stuff we'll have full charging points usbs and stuff on this side as well so yeah not going to get everything done today but we'll uh we're going to make a good good start on it just personalizing it for the uh for the the, cut, the client so yeah it's uh i'm pretty stoked on on how this truck's coming together and um this could be uh the way i'd set mine up here in the future so coming up on the roof we've got mitz's uh roof rack up here we've got the uh the anderson up there ready for the solar when that panel shows up so that's the roof rack so this is all the gear that we've got to fit out. We've got marine carpet going in, we've got rubber going in, the toolboxes um, for all those heavier items. We've got shovels, we've got our fire pit tables, um, we've got buckets, we've got coffee stuff, we've got sand pegs, um, fire pit, everything in the back here. I'm going to start fitting out all this stuff uh, today. So first aid kit and some other bits and pieces over there. So. Yeah, got a big, <laughs> I got a got a big job out of me today. Oh, it's just buttery. Yeah, in the comments, tell me what you guys think. I think proportions could not get any better. It is absolutely on point with the size of the cab. Um, being a coil rear end truck. Those bronze methods are just so clean. They look so tidy. Ooh. Very nice. So we're running 100% right now and we can turn our Turn our fridge on, turn our USBs on, turn our lights on. Lights up there, and then we can control our lights just here, changing the uh, the colors if we want to go to amber and stuff like that, so. And then we've got the pie oven on that side. I actually like this system. There's a lot of a lot of buttons going on, but I'll have to uh, play with it and get used to it, and yeah, not get lost. <laughs> All right, let's go start fitting this thing out. I'm excited. I just love building trucks, and that's what that's what F Tech is. So, if you want me to build yours, get on my website, send me an email. If you want a consultation. I have them as well on my email if you want to build your own and you want some ideas or my thoughts on your build. All right, let's go and uh, unload all this stuff out of the back of the ram. Okay, so I've just emptied most of the stuff out of the truck. We've got um, marine carpet here for all the drawers. We've got the uh, the rubber here for the rear trundle and the under tray toolboxes. That's all the gear just there. Uh, and then we've got the travel buddy in here. We also have, I've got to remount the GME Antenna has got to go back onto the um, the roof rack somewhere. We've got a uni flame stuff. We've got a step. We've got our cooker and stuff. We've also got a fire pit bag. Heaps of stuff from Drifter. Uh, so 
I'll start lining this out. I'm going to start putting all the uh, marine carpet inside the drawers just to get rid of that that bit of a tinniness that they they all have. So we'll um, probably marine carpet the drawers, um, depending on how much we have. Or we may just marine carpet the tops of these and put rubber in the drawers. Just uh, give a good sound deadening to the uh, inside the canopy. And then probably put up here, because I'd say camera gear is going to go up here. We'll probably put marine carpet up here. Um, and then we'll be putting um, uh, probably nothing through here. Maybe rubber down down through this section just to stop stuff moving around. But uh, apologies if you can hear the cows. <laughs> I didn't know the boys were doing cows today, so they're carrying on. So... Yeah, but uh, let's get stuck into cutting all this um, marine carpet out and fitting it in and yeah, we'll get this sound deadening done. Okay, so I got uh, the marine carpet in on both things. This one's a bit distorted because it's just needs to relax. I'll probably sit them out in the sun, let it relax a bit. This one's fine. Also got it on the other side on the top of the pantry. Um, I'm not going to put carpet in the drawers like I did my truck. I'm going to fit rubber so just to make it easier to clean if anything does, uh, lid comes off something or yeah, someone doesn't do something up properly. At least that way the rubber can be kind of washed off. I know the marine carpet can be washed off, but It'll just take a longer to dry and stuff where the marine, the, uh, the, sorry, the, the rubber can just be cleaned out and all the rest of it. So I'm going to fit rubber um, inside each drawer, which I'm going to do now. So I've got a, got a roll of rubber just here. Um, the rest of the marine carpet I will fit into different little spots um, depending on where, what I'm mounting where. Um, but yeah, and then I'll cut another piece of rubber to go down along the back here to protect the, um, the floor of the, the canopy um, from chairs and stuff like that and whatever else we end up putting in here. But top shelf done as well, marine carpet. So now the, the client can have their camera battery, just put Velcro on the back and it'll stick and stay in there um, without it, it going anywhere, without it moving around. So marine carpet's a great option to, uh, to put in your canopy because then you can use Velcro and just stick things kind of anywhere. So if you were to go to the full extent of putting marine carpet on your walls and stuff and actually gluing it on, you can stick heaps of stuff up there with Velcro and whatnot and allows for a good, good insulation as well. What I should have done is <laughs> move my table and actually back the truck underneath the awning here. So it's, it's like 30, 32 degrees here at the moment. It's the hottest day we've had since last year, so. But I'm going to put you on charge for a minute while I cut the rest of the rubber. So we are using the uh, Blue Eddy charging ports here. So we'll plug these in, charge these up. I'll come back to these in a minute with the rubber install. Okay, so all the marine carpet's in. I've got all the rubber in each, each drawer. So just gives it a little bit of sand deadening, stops the, the canopy from being... The, um, just all that tinny metal um, once we start getting some more stuff in here uh, Pantry, I'll show you around the other side of the pantry so We've got the carpet on the pantry up the top And we've got the rubber inside the pantry just if anything spills in there It's easy to uh, just pull that out and um, and clean it So we'll go ahead now and we'll probably mount the travel buddy next We'll go ahead and do that now Mount the travel buddy, get it mounted Then we'll start filling the drawers with all the accessories and stuff that we have over here on the uh, on the table and then um, we are going to do the shower mod that we did in mine so just waiting for the the brackets from mitts um, so we can um, do the shower up in here so i'm just going to use their awning brackets and turn them upside down i may have to chop them and modify them but i've ordered an extra set of awning brackets so i'll mount them up in here then i'll mount the shower inside the canopy door the same as mine and then we're probably going to mount the shower either here on top of this tray or we'll mount it from the roof uh not too sure yet so go ahead now and we'll get this get this travel buddy out of the car 
there it is there. Another good thing about these rams is this um, this flat floor. When you fold the seat up, the rams have this false floor that comes across that you flip out, which is pretty cool. So, well, we've got, we've got the Road Chef. Um, there's plenty of these 12 volt ovens. There's something there's like three or four of them on the market now. Um, most of the time when you try and get a travel buddy, you just they just never got any stock. So we just went with the Road Chef. So this is the, the standard size, I think, this one. Get rid of that plastic. Yes, yeah, standard size, 12 volt. Uh, it's 8.3 amps, 100, 100 watts. So I don't know, oh yeah, sweet. So we, we already have an Anderson, so that is bloody awesome. I don't have to put one of them on today. So, Ow. Anderson already installed on this little road chef. And there we have it. Grab that plastic before it blows away. So the road chef, I'll grab the brackets out and we'll mount it up in the uh, the tray there behind you guys. So Pretty much, this thing is like identical to the uh, the travel buddy. So you got another. Oh yeah, brackets are here. So I've got brackets. Um, comes with a cigarette socket in case you don't have any sort of Anderson. Uh, we have that the Anderson already rigged up inside the uh, the travel buddy. What's the name? So, and we also got the tray. I think the tray is in here somewhere. So. Road Chef are actually making the tray, the roast roast tray, which is just there. So, and I think this one's pretty good because it actually can fit in with the um, it can fit in with the the shelves here, so you can just flip it around as you need it if you're going to do some pies or sausage rolls or any of that stuff that's no good for you <laughs> um, you can knock yourself out I actually use mine every single day in the Simpson it was just so easy to throw throw some food in there and um, and then pull up and have something to eat um, and then even at lunchtime, when we'd stop for a break on the track at lunch, I would uh, throw a throw a rack of ribs or something in there. And then by the time we got to camp, like you could just super you know, open the canopy, you could just smell it, and <laughs> all the boys got a bit jealous. But it just these little things make just life things like that just really easy and convenient. So there are little brackets here. So these will clip onto the uh, clip onto the side just there, and then there should be some bolts here somewhere. I'll have to have a look in the box. And okay, travel buddies, all bolted down and mounted. So perfect. You can uh, put the trays in there if you want. I've just got the extra got the little oven roast tray in there. So. Perfect. And then we can turn it on from the red arc system. All mounted, not going anywhere. Perfect addition to the uh, little kitchen area. Throw your roast, sausage rolls, pies, pretty much whatever you can cook in an oven, you can cook in that thing. So, good thing to have. So we're back around on the driver's side now. We've got all this stuff uh, to coordinate to go back in there. So we've got first aid kits, we've got fire pits. We've got drawer bags, we've got a little um, sink there for washing up and stuff. Gas, uh, we do have a shower tent, but we're just waiting on the brackets for that before we can install that. So we'll go ahead and start setting this stuff out where I think it, it should go inside of here. So our main drawer, rubber lined, ready to go. So I'd say we'll probably put things like the fire pit and stuff down on the bottom. So we've got the drifter stopped and 
fire pit here. That'll fit in there perfectly. Doesn't move around with the, uh, the rubber in there. So, and we've got some draw bags. I've got pegs. There's going to be a lot of little niddly stuff that we're going to have to think of later down the road as we need it. Um, but this is just kind of the main sort of stuff that I've I'm putting in this this setup. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'll probably do another video on this we still need a few more things and we'll go intri intricately into uh the details on the setting up for the camera gear and stuff uh the power board that i'm going to put on velcro um we're also going to set up the quick pitch shower which will go on the inside of the canopy still got to do the the shower itself mount all that so there will be another video inside the canopy here but this is just the initial layout um of what we've done so everything's got marine carpet on it now everything's got uh, rubber on the inside of the all the drawers all the toolboxes are now done as well so i've got um rubber down there just need a little bit more rubber to do this back section i've thrown that one in there but i need a longer one that i can cut in around all the extrusion just to uh make it look nice and tidy for when you're throwing chairs and stuff in there just uh protects the uh the canopy um the trundle, still going to need some more probably um, rubber or marine carpet in, in here. Uh, that's the, the shelf off the top there, the tray. Uh, coming around to this side, so we have marine carpet up on top of this shelf here. Got the rubber, obviously got the, uh, this is the um, drifter coffee set up inside that. Uh, mounted our travel buddy, all mounted. Do have our um, uni flame paper towel holder here as well. Um, that's easy, just Velcro that on this tube here on the door, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, just got to get some more rubber, tidy a few things up, a few little bits and pieces that I still want to get to put in here. All these toolboxes are done, got rubber inside of them. Um, then we're going to run some power from the inverter across to the other side, put in a a power board, USBs, um, like a bank and everything for charging camera equipment and things like that. So still got a little bit to do, still got to mount the shower. And then we've got the awning and stuff to go. So there'll be another another whole video on uh, this RAM. So anyway, that's enough for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. In the comments, let me know what you think. Do you like this setup? Do you think it looks good? Guys, www.ftech.com.au. I've got heaps of gear on there. I've got hats, shirts, hoodies. I've got the uh, the canister an antennas um, that I have on my F truck that you would have seen before for the self fire go. Um, I now have draw bags and stuff like that. Heavy duty canvas draw bags and um, hats. Um, I think I already said hats, but yeah, heaps of stuff on there. So I'll put the uh, everything in the description. Go check that out. Help support the channel. Um, buy a bit of merch and uh, yeah, Ram 2500. We'll see you in the next one for the rest of the stuff we've got to do to it. I'm going to go to the beach now and go for a swim. Hello. See you.